Hello everybody, Sleeky Reviews here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the treasure quests in a server creation nation. Now, if you're new to the server, they, these treasure quests can help you out, but you can consider them a maze and they can be quite frustrating. So today I'm going to teach you how to get through each and every one. This video is going to be solely dedicated on getting through treasure quest numero uno. So this is what we're going to do. First I'm going to teach you how to get there. So you start off at spawn and if you're new you'll get here eventually and you'll see this hole and all that. So you'll see this new type jump I'm new. Turn exactly 180 degrees around and walk Ooh, lag, lag there. Hmm. and jump down and walk over this way. So um, yeah, so we're going to be walking over to this tree house over here which is where the first treasure quest is located so, so we're just going around there's a skeleton there we're going to ignore him just keep walking anyways there's an enderman ignore the chat at the bottom so anyways yeah, we're just going to we'll come up here up here and through this door and we're going to walk down into here and now we could go down there but that is treasure quest 3 we're going to treasure quest 1 I don't know what happened there but anyways continue up here around this corner there is a zombie, still ignoring him. Coming up here, and over here, and here's the first treasure quest entrance. So, just real quick, just in case we die, and you're very much going to want to use set homes throughout this. Leap of faith, beware of death. If you live, find your way in the dark. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump down and stay in the center. Because there is water in the center and you're going to want to immediately start swimming up. Because otherwise if you don't you might drown. And here is the official 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 entrance. So treasure quest. Game rules. Do not leave any doors open. Close after you enter. This is so when others play the game. Alright. Good luck. So. We're going to come up here, set home, and we have a little area where we have to get across the glass. And over here is a sprint jump, so... Oh, and I failed. Alright. Okay, so take two. As I said, these can... Whoa, lag again. As I said, these can be tricky. So anyways, just make your way back. The problem that time is I did not sprint. So let's see if I can sprint this time. Oh no! I swear to God. Nice. Alright, let's try this a third time. I sprinted but then hesitated. Which is something you can't do. Okay. Okay, I got it this time. I got it. And, alright. Set home. Okay. Now there's three ways you can go here. Death, death, and life. So let's go to life, shall we? Now over here, we go up the set home. Now we just come over here. There's the entrance, and there's the door we have to get to, which I've already opened beforehand. So anyway, if we just come through here, close the door for courteous reasons. And now we're in the maze. Set home. Now, turn right, turn left. Sorry. Now come up. Now that, that way is the way to the end, but we're going to want to come over here for a quick second because there is a surprise. Right here is the, um, TQ1 red 
tag, which is really cool once you beat it, and it's like, oh man, look, I'm awesome. Anyways, if you want that, you can. But once you've gathered that, come over here, and here's the ending. Now, you will get tricked. That's a trick. Do not fall for that. Anyways, see, that was the tricky part. So now, we come up here, and this is where a lot of people have trouble, because this is evil. Set home. You just want to sprint jump across this. Made it. Now, here is where everybody, and I mean everybody, has trouble. They try and jump. And here, thinking it's this way, no. If you look right down here, oh my god, look, ladders. And I missed the ladders. Ladders! Ladders! Yay! Okay, ladders. So, we make our way up the ladders. And now, you would usually open this door. I'm going to close it. Close it. Close it. Usually, you would be opening and then closing. Just And this part is to get you disoriented. By doing the same thing over and over. And continuously stepping on blocks. You might not notice that this block doesn't exist. So, just do a side step around it, and come up here. And we're on to the final part of the Treasure Quest 1, which is just jumping across this, which can be hard or not, depending. So let's see if I can do it first try. I got this. I've got it! Oh, okay. That was close. Almost. There, one more. Okay, and we're good. And that was the final part of Treasure Quest 1, and we end up here underneath Spawn. And over here is your pay cube, which you would right-click and usually check this chest to see if anybody else has left anything. Right-click the bookcase to learn a magic spell, which you can use for teleporting. And that's it. You have successfully made it through Treasure Quest 1. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you found this informative or entertaining or whatever. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, and goodbye.